Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT, and in this tutorial we're going to create the booking form for our Robbie's Outdoor Services website. Now, this will be quite involved and quite tricky. All right, we're going to have a heading here. Please complete the booking form. Then we'll use an HTML horizontal rule just to break it up. Then we go into a big form box, which we'll create in Dreamweaver. We'll have a table here, a one by three. Uh, we'll be able to put in a 10 character booking date, 6 characters time. This will be a 2x2 two two table that holds a name and address. The name can be 60 characters long and the address 65 characters long. We'll have a label here, email. This will be a separate 1x3 one table, but we'll put it directly underneath the other one without any shift enter spacing. And in here we'll have a 35 character text box where they can enter the email and a 12 character box here for the phone. We will then have a drop down to choose the payment type, MasterCard or Visa, similar to the drop down we had here where they can choose a task uh, that they want done. And a text uh, area here where they can enter special instructions or comments. We'll make an AP div to put this image in of the MasterCard and Visa, and finally have a submit and clear form. All right, it might take us um, two parts, two maybe two 15-minute parts to uh, cover this whole tutorial because it will be involved. So let's get started across in Dreamweaver. All right, the first thing is up the left-hand side here, File New. Now, remember, we have a template for this site, which we made in a previous tutorial in the Robbie's Outdoor site. We have the Robbie template shown here in this picture. That's the one we want, so we'll go Create. All right, Editable Region 1 here comes up, and in that is where we want to put that text. Please complete the following booking form. All right, so please complete the following. Now, it's a little hard to see here because Dreamweaver's default font is black, so let's just highlight that. And we need to go down here in the properties. We'll have Arial Helvetica, like we've been using. The size for this we're going to use is 18, and we're going to give it the yellow color. All right, now we don't want it jammed up right here against the edge, so what we do is we put the cursor back at the start there, and down the bottom in properties is a little right-hand blue arrow called text indent, and we want to use that to move it across a bit. All right, so that's done. We will now press Shift and Enter, right? Not just Enter, but Shift and Enter to create a spacing there, where we're directly underneath our uh, thing. Now here we want to do a HTML kind of horizontal ruler. So we go up the top to Insert uh, HTML. This will just make a nice little break on the page, and there's our ruler. Now the trouble with our ruler is that we want to align it to the left and we want to get just in front of that ruler and bring the text indent back to the left so we use the blue left hand arrow down here in the properties and pull that back and that'll make a nice little line across our page all right we're up to here we're down here with our cursor and what we need to do now is start making the form all right now we go onto the forms tab here in dreamweaver and you need to make this big red box a form box or what's called a form tag and your whole form lives inside this box. So there's the start of it, it's all in red. And the first thing we want to do is make that one by three table. So now we jump across to the common tab. Here's where the tables are. So click on table, and this needs to be a one by three, and Dreamweaver's already got that set up. That was lucky, and we say okay. All right, underneath that table, with go to the end of the table and go shift enter to leave a space. And the next one we want to do is uh, a space, so shift enter. And the next one we want to do is that name address table, which is a two by two. So still in the common tab, go to tables. This time we want to have two rows and we want to have uh, two columns. All right. So we'll put that table in. All right. Now directly underneath that table, just get your cursor underneath it. Don't do shift and enter this time. We need a one by three table. So we'll put that in one row and we'll be needing three columns, and that's where the email and phone number is going to go, okay? So we'll put that table in. All right, now let's start putting the text into our tables. The first one here we have task, and we can't see it because it's in black. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the side of that table till we get the black arrow, 
and hold down control and click that to highlight it. Now on your next one do the same thing, get that black arrow at the side, control click, get the next one here with the black arrow, control click, and the next one, control click. Now it's a bit hard to see them highlighted in Dreamweaver, but I think they are, so we'll go down the bottom here to the font. We want Arial Helvetica for all of those, we want a size of 14 for all of them, and we want these guys to be yellow. Alright, now hopefully that's formatted our table so that when we type things in, and no, it hasn't done it for us. Okay, let's try that again. So we want Arial Helvetica, we want yellow. Maybe we're going to have to do one row at a time here, all right? We'll put in booking date, and yep, it's not doing the table in advance for us, which is a uh, bit of a drawback there. Uh, I'm just wondering if we go across to the side now and highlight that after we've got the text in, uh, then we can change it all at once. Okay, so you can't pre-format it. You um, have to put your text in and then change it. So let's just put this text in in black name, address, and we need the email down in here. And this last one with phone, we're not actually going to type in a label. We're going to let Dreamweaver create the label for us. So I'll just uh, go to those and go control click on the side of each of those ones, get them all highlighted, and Dreamweaver unhighlighted them. Okay, I'm just going to pause and go off and do this separately and be back. Alright, what we're going to do now is file save as and we'll save this as bookings. And you can see our tables here aren't too good, so we'll go to this table and just grab till we get the double arrows with the mouse, push the button down and drag that back to leave room for the name and address uh, boxes. And with email, we'll kind of drag that back as well. And these ones here, let's move that across a bit to take up a bit more of the page. And let's grab the end of that one and move it across. So we're just going till we get the double arrows with the mouse, and then we're pushing the mouse button down, moving across and letting go. All right. Now let's just do a preview map of the world here, preview in Firefox, save the changes to bookings, and let's see how this is going. All right. It's not looking too bad. All right. But what you see here, notice, is not exactly the same as what you see in Dreamweaver all the time, and that's something to be aware of. All right, we need the data entry um, boxes now. So for task, we need a drop-down menu of several items. So we go back to the forms data, and the one we use here is list menu, okay? It's called list menu, and we click on that one. And the ID for this one is task. But because we've already put our own label of task, we just leave label here blank in Dreamweaver and say OK. Now, we need to click on that blue drop-down arrow. That will change our properties. Just double-click on that. And down the bottom, you can see we've got a box here called List Values. All right. Now, on List Values, you click that. And in here, our first item label is usually an instruction, not an actual item to choose. So we'll have Choose a Task. All right. Now, what we need to do next is push the tab button on the far left hand side of the keyboard. We don't want a value for that entered, so we're just going to tab again down to the next one. Now, our first task is lawn mowing. All right, tab across, leave value blank, tab to the next one, which is landscaping. All right, tab, tab, and then we've got tree trimming, and tab, tab, and last of all, we've got rubbish removal. Okay, where Robby comes and removes your rubbish. Once they're all entered, you say OK. If you wanted to move one of these, say we wanted to move tree trimming up the list, there's little arrows here where you can move tree trimming to the top of the list if you want, but we'll just use the down arrow to move it back to where it was, OK? And we say OK. All right, now booking date, what we need there is, we'll just press the space bar for a space, we just need a plain text box. So on the Forms tab here, we just click on the text field, second one from the left, and in there, that one is going to be, well, let's just pull that down. That's going to be the date. All right, we don't need a label because we've already got one there on our table, and we say OK. All right, now it's made a box. We need to size that data entry box. So you double-click on it, and down in the properties, then you can put the character width. Now, the booking date, 10 characters should be enough to enter a date, and we'll just have 10. 
for um, the maximum characters as well. Now time we need to do a simple thing, a similar thing, sorry, press the space bar, go up to forms, go to the second from the left text field, click on that. Um, this one is going to be the time, we don't need a label because we've got one in our table, so we leave label blank, we say OK, double click on that, and for the time, the only uh, sort of thing we should need there is really six characters, so six characters width and six for the maximum to enter. Alright, if we preview this now in Firefox, um, what's going to happen is you can see that the things actually will kind of line up okay, even though they didn't look alright in Dreamweaver, alright? Sometimes you have to do some fiddling around here, so you have to go and grab this part of the table and move it, alright? And we've moved it there so it's 182, 35%, and this one here, if we grab that and move it, we'll just uh, s stretch that out a bit maybe to let's say 198 or so, 196, and the time we don't need nearly as much space on, so we're just going to um, pull that one back, actually, and make that about, um, let's see, that only needs to be maybe 98, but then Dreamweaver messes around with these ones and moves them, so you've got to do a lot of moving around, trial and error, keep previewing it in Firefox, and um, see how the thing's going, alright? So we're just going to pause and we'll do that and we'll get it all, all correct. So there's a lot of fiddling around with making these forms. Alright, so we finished working on that. You can see we made that one 90, 36%, this one 41%, this one 23%. So you could pause the video and note those down. Alright, let's go down to this name and address. We need to, again, just insert a plain text box. That's going to be name, no label needed, and double click on that. The name, the length for the name is going to be 60 characters, so we just put 60 in there. And we'll also, down in properties, make the maximum 60. We're doing a similar thing for address up here. Put in a text field, just address for the ID, no label needed, all right? And that one, double click on it, and the address is going to be 65 and 65 for the max. All right, now down here in email, again, we need another text box, so we'll put that in. Uh, this is going to be our email, no label needed, and we say OK. Double click on that, that's going to be 35 wide, so 35 and 35. And over here in phone, what we're going to do is something different. When we put the text box in, we're going to call it phone, but we're actually going to get Dreamweaver to do the label. So we'll put phone there, because we haven't typed a phone thing into our table. So we'll do the label in there, just to show you what this does, and see how it's put phone in there. Okay, It's in black writing. We need to highlight it. We need to style it, um, and set the size to 14, and make it yellow. Okay, in Dreamweaver, that's not lining up too good. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll just try preview it in Firefox quickly and see how it looks. Alright, so we've got some fiddling around to do with the tables there to get this all to work. So we're just going to pause the video and go off and do that, then we'll show you what it looks like when we're finished. Something we need to do is on phone, just double click that box, and the phone only needs to be 12 wide. Okay, Dreamweaver's made our default box too big for that. Okay, so double click on that, make sure it's 12 and 12. Alright, so as you can see with the email table here, we made this about 85 characters, 17%, this one 50%, 264, and this one 33%, 172. So you might want to pause the video and note those down. But really, you just have to grab these, drag them, keep fiddling around, then keep previewing in your uh, either Firefox or Internet Explorer until it all looks okay on the actual screen, alright? So that's looking good. So we're about halfway through our table. We need to do the payment type, this image inside an AP div, the text area, and the two buttons. Alright, so we're halfway. What we're going to do now is we will finish this as part one, and we will make a part two video where we complete that bottom half of the form. Okay, so make sure you look out for the part two video. Alright, this is Passy's World of ICT. We hope you've enjoyed the first part of this tutorial. Remember to check out our website, Passy's World of ICT, for all sorts of interesting things on computer.